Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode.